And I'm calling as part of the Get Out the Vote campaign. Have you voted? I feel like this is a really troubled time in this year. So I think that, uh, I think after the Bush, everything was horrible. But now Obama's taken over, I think that things are getting better. But I feel now that if Romney becomes president, I feel that we're gonna go back to the old Bush policies and things will get a lot, lot more worse. And I feel that Obama can make things better. I think he has been making things better. Sometimes people will say, I don't like Romney, so I'll vote for Obama. That's not the case for me. I'm voting for Obama because I like Obama. I appreciate what he has done. This election has been weighing on my heart ever since it started. It's like, if we're, we need to get back to the roots of why this country is the way it is. Just bring jobs back, work ethic, money. Not, if I work hard, yeah, I, I deserve it. If I work hard and you don't, why should I give you any money? Get up off your butt and work. I have to go vote in Sacramento for Electoral College. So I'm really more excited for that, but I'm still excited today. I don't know why, but I'm always interested in politics because I'm always interested in what policies, what decisions the politicians can make to help people. I don't know why is that the unions are against this proposition, why are people for this proposition, and I just, it just makes me more interested. A lot of my time during the day was spent as a one-person phone bank calling and both parties, Democrat and Republicans, asking them to vote no on 32. And I would say a good 80% of the Republicans that I talked to were blue-collar Republicans, and they said, yeah, we're not going to vote Democratic, but we're not going to vote for 32 either. I think it was very good uh, that that's probably the most important thing here in California right now is that they are actually waking up and reading what these propositions are about.